on. Today I'm going to be turning this cedar chest into a cute little garden box to go along with our other garden, which is growing really well, by the way. Um, if you're wondering about this, it's really tall, but um, it's not all the way filled with dirt. We filled it with brush and logs, and then we just put uh, like maybe six inches to a foot of dirt, and then we planted our lettuce, which is growing incredibly well, and our beets. And I'm really happy about the beets and the lettuce growing well. Um, and now I have my bell peppers here. No, wait, this is tomato. This right here is tomato, and this is bell peppers. I don't know if you can see it too well. These are bell peppers, these little ones right here. And then the tomato is growing really, really well, and I'm super happy about it. So basically all I did to get this chest ready was put holes all along it so the water can drain so it doesn't, like, drown the plants. Um, and then um, now I'm going to fill it with dirt. And it's super cute color, too. So I'm going to clean off this a little bit after I'm done filling it with dirt. And maybe I'll paint this part, too. Um, for now, I'm just going to leave it like this. So right now, I'm going to use the wheelbarrow to put some of this dirt in. Um, to the wheel well, I'm going to put some of this dirt into the wheelbarrow. And then I'm going to bring it over to the chest because I don't want to put... I don't want to bring the, um, move the chest because after I put dirt in it, it will be super heavy. And I just don't want to do that because you, know, you can't move it after you put dirt in it. So I'm just going to take the wheelbarrow and put dirt in. Okay, so I've got this filled right now. And I'm just going to spread it out and everything. I was able to get it filled with dirt. Um, now I'm just going to spread it out to make it even. And then I can start planting my plants in here. I'm going to break up all the little chunks. It looks really pretty, actually. Oh, that's not a chunk. What is that? I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a makeup blender. I don't know. I'll just set that right there for now. Okay. Now, after I get these chunks all dispersed, I think I'm going to put one more load of dirt in here so it comes up a little higher because I don't like the height on this right now. Um, so the, the roots have more room to go deeper into the soil. So I was able to get my um, garden up to a height that I like, and now I'm going to put the plants in there, but first I have to dig little holes for them. So I'm going to use a spoon for that. I think I'm going to go maybe two inches down. Sometimes it actually helps to pack the dirt down a little, so the dirt doesn't fall into... Um, into your holes that you are digging for your plants. So I have two rows of um, holes dug and I'm going to start putting my tomatoes in them. I'm going to prioritize the tomatoes over the um, bell peppers because the bell peppers are smaller and the tomatoes are bigger, that means they're going to soon will be running out of root space. And if I put them in here, then they will have plenty of root space. Since this is planted in a container that is not individually, where the plants are not individually um, in their own spots, um, I'm going to use a spoon to get them out instead of using, instead of just popping them out. So let's see if I can do this without cutting them. It's going to go all the way to the bottom and hopefully I'm able to get the roots along with it. I don't want to damage the roots too much. Obviously there will be some damage to the roots, but I hope, I'm hoping that they'll just grow back and be fine. So I'm hoping I'll get enough root system with the plant in order to, for it to grow. So I'm just going to put it in a hole and push it down a little and fill it with some dirt and hopefully it will grow. So I've decided since all of the plants want to come up because their root systems are together, um, not to use the spoon, but to use my hand and try to get all of the root systems. Because I do not want to try my best to not let them die until I stuck them there. And hopefully they don't die on me. Everyone, um, it's a couple days later since I've planted these. And um, now um, it's time to move them to my big garden. And then I'm going to plant my bell peppers into here. Oh, and by the way, while we're here, the lettuce and um, beets are growing really well right now, and I'm really happy about that. It just rained a ton last night, and I'm super excited to be eating fresh salad soon 
once these get a little bigger, they're still not quite big enough to eat, but we can make a big old salad soon. Hello everybody, I'm about to give you a garden tour. Okay, so this is our front yard and over here my sister put a whole room of bricks and then put like a little walkway because no grass grows here. Like we used to have grass here but it never was like full grass and it was just too much of a hassle. So she put like wood chips around and everything. Um, and these are all tomato plants that you're going to have to put tomato cages on soon. Very, very soon. Um, and they line the whole rest of the way along there. And then, well, I guess I have to use the pathway. So I have to walk around. Now we're going to go down the pathway. And all around there are bell peppers. And I think I planted these ones, and I think I may have unevenly spaced them. I don't know. I guess I don't really know how spaced they're supposed to be. Um, I didn't really check. Probably should have. Um, and then here in the center, there's just four lettuce plants. And now we'll go to the back. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so, we, this is still the front, and we have onion plants. I think we have one, two, three, four. Yeah, we have four onion plants. And these are some flowers that I planted from seeds. And then this is um, a wild flower that Rose plucked off the side of the road. And um, these ones, they got tipped over, so that's why they're like all on one side. But this whole thing got tipped over, and then we had to put the dirt back in. But they're doing pretty good for being tipped over. And then over here, We've got some basil plants, and I don't think it's going to grow because someone put a real barrel in this thing in front of it, so I think it kind of all died, but this used to be cauliflower, and now we'll go to the back. Okay, the back is kind of messy, but um, we made this garden box, and it might look like it was a lot to shovel all that dirt in, but um, actually on the bottom of it we put a layer of logs, a layer of brush, a layer of dirt, and then a layer of like compost that was not, had not been, um, it did not decompose yet, and it was just like a bunch of rotten food, and then another layer of dirt, and then we planted um, lettuce, and as you can see, it is very, very healthy lettuce, so recommend doing that. And then over here, we also have some beets, and they're doing really, really good. We have um, stems down here, but everything else is doing really good. And then also, she put basil, um, Rose put basil in this treasure, treasure chest, and she's got a couple sides. Yes? Yes, I'll get you a piece of pizza in a minute. And also, here is our compost, and that just about sums up our garden. Just so you know, um, next year we're probably going to have a bigger garden. Um, this year, like, we've been putting it off for a couple of years, and this year we finally decided we were going to do a garden. Um, so it, we were going to plant, like, corn everywhere, but the seeds were really old that we planted, so it didn't end up working. Um, but next year, hopefully, we'll have more garden boxes, and we'll use up more space in our yard. Um, one thing is that we can't use most of our soil in our yard because um, the lead chips from our house contaminated the soil. So, thank you for watching this video. Um, hope you enjoyed. Bye!